In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to disable Grammarly on Word or remove it from MS Word, and we'll get it done in about five minutes. Whether you're looking to unclutter your writing workspace, improve the performance of your Word application, or you've simply decided that Grammarly isn't quite what you need right now, I've got you covered with this step-by-step -step guide. First, let's navigate to Microsoft Word. This is your starting point since we'll need to ensure Word is closed during the uninstallation, which helps avoid any pesky program conflicts. Once we have Word in mind, now's the time to focus on Grammarly. If you're logged into Grammarly, it's important to log out. This step ensures that there are no active sessions that might prevent a smooth uninstallation. Simply head over to appgrammarly.com and log out if you haven't done so already. Next, we'll begin our journey on your Windows desktop by clicking the Start button, located in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. It's a gateway to finding and managing all the applications installed on your computer. Once the Start menu is open, you'll need to use the search bar. This is a handy tool for quickly locating settings and applications without having to dig through file folders and menus. Type Program in the search bar. This will allow you to access various program management settings. You'll want to specifically look for Add or Remove Programs, which is an option that will appear in your search results. Click on that. It opens up a list of all the applications currently installed on your system, providing you with complete control over what stays and what goes. With that window open, you're searching for Grammarly within the list of installed apps. If you have a lot of programs, using the search bar within this window to type Grammarly can save some time. Once you've spotted Grammarly in the list, you'll notice three dots next to its name. Go ahead and click on these dots to reveal additional options. From here, you'll see the choice to uninstall. Click Uninstall. This action will prompt your computer to begin removing Grammarly from the system. It may take a moment to complete and you might have to confirm in a dialog box that you indeed wish to remove the program. And that's all there is to it. Once uninstalled, Grammarly will no longer appear on your Microsoft Word and you'll find your system running a little leaner without it. I hope this guide was helpful. If you ran into any issues or have further questions, feel free to drop them in the